Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inshallah tawarak tara. In this uh, clip, I'm going to show you the Zamaer uh, and its classification. Zamaer, those words which indicate towards the speaker, that is mutakallim or second person, hazir and third person, ghaib. As you have seen in the last uh, many clips with, uh, regarding the mutakallim, hazir and ghaib. Now, a new topic, we come up with it called a Zamaer. Which is the plural form of Zamir, which is broadly classified into two types. That is an attached, an attached form, an attached form that is uh, Munfasil, an attached form is uh, Muttasil. Now let's have a look on each. Now, as we have seen in the last session, also this kind of a chart, that third person, third person, third person. This is a masculine. And the third person feminine, third, second person masculine, second person feminine, singular, dual, plural, and as well as first person uh, masculine and feminine. Now, as we have seen the fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu on all the gardan uh, of the fa'ala, ma'zi, ma'ruf, this is. Now, uh, for example, there is an uh, zamir is had in the uh, fail as we are saying that fa'ala means uh, he did. So what does it mean by he did? So actually there is no he over here. Well, but how we are saying? Because uh, there is a zamir which is hidden in this fail fa'ala. And that zamir is huwa. And there it, this huwa is giving the me, uh, meaning of he. As you can notice. So is he means what? This huwa. And we are saying that fa'ala means uh, they too did. They too did means what? They too, they too did. We are saying that they too. What is this they too? They too means what? <coughs> Huma. Actually, Huma Zamir is hidden in the fail fa'ala. And similarly, and in this fa'alu, we are saying that they many did. They many. What is this they many did? They many did, okay, obviously they many did. What is this they many? They many is actually the meaning of fa'alu. It is hidden in the fa'alu. And that is, Zamir is known as whom. Whom is indicating third person masculine plural. Third person masculine plural is whom. Zamir is hidden in fa'alu. Similarly, fa'al, uh, fa'alat is a third person feminine singular in fa'alat. Uh, in fa'alat, the zamir is had and is here. Here, which means that she one female did. She did. She one did. She one did. Similarly, they two did. They two did. They two did means uh, the zamir is the same. Huma. And fa'alna, they all did means the they all. They all or they many did. It is especially concerned with the third person feminine plural and the zamir which is hidden in that is hunna. Hunna zamir is hidden in it. Then fa'alta, this anta zamir is hidden in that the same. I don't want to go in the translation of each and everyone. Anta zamir is hidden in fa'alta, in fa'altuma. Antuma zamir is hidden. And then uh, Fa'altum, Antum Zamir is hidden. Antum Zamir is hidden. And in uh, Fa'alti, Anti, Anti Zamir is hidden. Anti. And then in this Antuma, same as the jewel of second person masculine. Antuma is hidden. Then here is Antunna. And tun nazamir is hidden. Now, uh, faaltu anazamir is hidden. That means I did. Faaltu means I did. I means what? Ana. And faalna means we two did or we all did. We means we two did or we all did. Means more than two. Uh, we means what? Nahnu. Nahnu. Here also. Nahnu zamir is. Had. So we this indicates nahanu, here also we indicates nahanu. 
So Alhamdulillah, so Alhamdulillah, that we have seen the examples uh, of uh, an attached form that is a munfasil zamir. Now let's have a that zamir is called uh, muttasil zamir. Muttasil zamir it is also called as attached form. Now, for example, if I want to say khalam or who means whose khalam means his khalam, his khalam, then khalam or huma. We have to attach with that ism in order to give a relation with khalam or this non with uh, with any person. Huma means this khalam is belongs to their two person means dwell to third person masculine. Khalamahuma. Then Khalamahum means this person is belongs to the uh, those many peoples. And then Huma. Sorry, there is Ha. Ha is for uh, third person singular feminine. And then Huma is for the dual feminine third person. And uh, then Hunna is the more, uh, more than two persons in feminine third person. Then ka, khalamaka means it's your pen. Your pen. Khalamu, khalamukuma. Khalamukuma means you are two. Uh, means pen belongs to your two persons. Same, your pen is your meaning is. Then khalamakum. Same, your pen. And then khalamaki. Is your pen is for the singular feminine second person means while addressing towards a single woman you have to set khalamiki it's your pen and then uh, same khalamakuma then khamala uh, khalamu kunna kunna then khalami it's my pen and then Khalamuna. Khalamuna means our pen. Our pen. Or the same is for the Jamamuta Kalib. Uh, it means that while addressing, if you are addressing, just uh, take an example of this Khalamakum. If you are addressing, towards uh, um, uh, all persons that is comes under uh, and second person masculine more than two person if you are addressing so they have to say khalamakum this pen is belongs to you guys you all peoples so th this kum is for the second person masculine plural so like that uh, we have uh, alhamdulillah studied all the zamaid zama uh, and its product class of under two types unattached form and attached form we have studied both of these uh, Alhamdulillah completely so hope you got uh, the concept of uh, Zamir inshallah in the next clip we will come up with a new topic Allah Hafiz